hi everyone welcome back in today's video so in today's tutorial i am going to show you the correct way of diluting im or iv arsenic for you to administer for severe malaria patient so arsenic is indicated for the treatment of severe malaria caused by the plasmodium falciparum in adults and children so the plasmodium falciparum is more common in africa when compared to other continents so for the artosinate we have different compositions we have one pack containing 60 mg of artosinate iv or im we also have another pack containing 120 mg of artosinate for iv or im so in today's video i am going to show you the correct steps you are supposed to follow for you to dilute or reconstitute artosinate the correct way for you to administer either im root or iv root so the first step you are supposed to do is you have to weigh the patient first so you have to weigh the patient first before you start administering the drug when you are preparing the solution you may either have the 60 mg pack or you may have the 120 mg pack so when you are preparing the 60 mg pack you will have 1 ml containing of sodium bicarbonate and you will also have 5 ml of 0.9 percent of sodium chloride and when you are preparing the 120 mg pack you will have 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate solvent and you will have 10 ml of 0.9 percent of sodium chloride so when you are preparing for iv or im route there are procedures there are steps you are supposed to dilute the solution before you start administering the drug to the patient so in today's video i will show you a step by step method that you can apply for you to administer the artosinate injection for either im or iv route to treat effectively for severe malaria so the other steps you are supposed to follow is you have to check the virus that's what i have said we have one pack containing 60 mg that is 1 ml of sodium bicarbonate or 5 ml of 0.9 percent of sodium chloride we also have the other pack containing 120 mg which is a, which contains one two millis of sodium bicarbonate and 10 millis of 0.9 percent of sodium chloride when you want to prepare the solution you are supposed to use only sodium chloride or you can use dextrose five percent so in this case you cannot use a sterile water for injection for you to dilute the solution so that will not be effective for you uh, to dilute the solution correctly to administer the drug to the patient so you can either use sodium chloride or you can use dextrose five percent for you to prepare the solution okay now let us uh, dive into the procedure when you're preparing for iv root assume now you are preparing for iv root and we have the pack containing 120 mg of iv or im artosinate now we want to prepare for iv root so what you are supposed to do is by using a syringe so let us do now so you open the package and you will see 0.9 percent of sodium chloride which is 10 millis and we also have 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate we also have 120 mg powder for iv or im artosinate when you are preparing the solution for iv root that is intravenous intravenous injection then what you're supposed to do is by using a syringe you withdraw the sodium bicarbonate first and you inject it into the bottle containing white border of iv or im artosinate then you shake the vial you shake the bottle until the solution is completely <coughs> dissolved <coughs> until the solution is clear so you cannot use the solution if if the solution is cloudy or precipitate you cannot use it for you to administer to the patient so what you're supposed to do is first you add the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate into the vial then you shake gently the bottle until the solution dissolves gently like that so when the solution <coughs> becomes clearly when you are preparing for iv root 
then you get the 0.9 percent of sodium chloride so you withdraw all the 10 ml of uh, sodium chloride then you add into the vial then you shake gently again you shake gently the bottle until the solution uh, is completely dissolved and the solution will become clear containing no feasible particles or the solution should not be cloudy or precipitate then you can administer the drug to the patient so when you are preparing for im root that is intramuscular injection what you are supposed to do is you add the 2 ml of sodium bicarbonate into the bottle containing white powder of iv or im arthusinate then you start shaking it gently you start shaking it gently until the solution becomes clearly containing no feasible particles or the solution should not be in a form of cloudy in color or white precipitate the solution should be clearly it should not be in a form of milk that is the time when you can administer the drug to the patient that is when so when you are preparing the solution for im root that is intramuscular injection you only withdraw 4 ml you only withdraw 4 ml of sodium chloride then you add into the vial containing the white blood of arthrocinate then you shake gently you shake gently until the solution becomes clearly then then you can administer the drug to the patient like that so when you mix the solution you will get a concentration of 10 mg of iv arthrocinate when you are preparing for iv root so when you prepare the solution for iv root you will get a concentration the solution will have a concentration of 10 mg what about for im root when you mix the solution like that it will have a concentration of 20 mg especially when you're preparing the solution for im root intramuscular injection is more better than the iv root this is because the drug is absorbed rapidly and it will be very effective against the infection so when you prepare the solution for a v root it will have a concentration of 10 mg but when you prepare the solution for im root it will have a concentration of 20 mg so that's the time you can administer the drug to the patient now let us see how to calculate the dose for iv or im arthrocinate to administer for severe malaria patient in adults and children okay let us now see how to calculate the dose of IV or IM arthrocinate. So when you prepare the solution, we have a general formula that we can apply for us to calculate the dose of IV or IM arthrocinate. Okay, let us see now the formula. Okay, let us start for the IV root. So when you are going to give the drug through IV root, so we have a general formula that we can apply so that you can calculate the exact dose of the patient when you are going to give for IV root. So we have the general formula the formula now 2.4 milligram per kg that is 2.4 milligram multiplied by the body weight of the patient. Then all over you divide by the concentration of the solution. When you prepare for IV root the drug will have a concentration of 10 mg per mil 10 mg per ml so this is the formula we are going to apply so when you want to give the drug for especially children let us assume now you wanted to give the drug for a child whose weight is to a of kg let us assume now let us calculate now okay what you are supposed to say is 2.4 2.4 milligram times to all of kg times to all of kg then you divide by the concentration that is 10 mg per mil 10 mg per mil so you will get around let us calculate now so 2 2.4 times to all of that will give us 28.8 .8, then divide by 10 divide by 10 
so that one will give us around 2.8 then what you are supposed to do you will run off to the nearest so you will run off for example to the nearest so that will give us around 3 minutes so the child will have a 3 mils of IV artusinate then on admission you are supposed to give so this is how you are going to administer on admission you are supposed to give then you can give after two and a half hours then you can give after 24 hours then you can give one is daily like this one is daily so on admission you give three minutes of IV artusinate then after 2 half hours you give 3 minutes of IV artusinate then after 24 hours you give a 3 minutes of IV artusinate then you can continue when is daily then you can switch the oral treatment if the patient can swallow a drug okay what about for IM root let us see now when you are going to give the drug for IM root IM root I am root. Okay, you can apply the general formula to 2.4 2.4 milligram per kg. 2.4 milligram per kg. Then when you're going to give the drug through I am root, you will have a concentration of 20 mg. So 2.4 times the weight of the child that is to Allah. Then he stroke mg bar kg. All of it you divide by, then the concentration will be 20 mg per mils. 20 mg per mils. So this is the formula you are going to apply whenever you want to give the drug through IM root. That is 2.4 milligram per kg. Then 2.4 times to all of the weight of the k, the weight of the child. That is to all of kg mg per kg then you divide by all over 20 mg per ml then let us calculate now for i am root okay 2.4 multiplied by 2 alaf multiplied by 2 alaf that will give us around 28.8 then you divide by 2 alaf you, sorry you divide by 20 mg that's the concentration of the drug the concentration of the drug so that one will give us around 1.4 1.44 so when we run off to the nearest we will have 1 ml we will have 1 ml of IM R2 Senate so this is how you are going to calculate the dose of IM or IV R2 Senate so when you are going to give the drug for IV root so this is the formula you are supposed to follow this is the formula when you're going to give the drug through IV root. Then for IM root, this is the formula 2.4 milligram by kg, 2.4 times to all of by mg or by kg, then 20 mg. 20 mg is the concentration that you will have when you prepare the drug through IM root. Then the weight of the child assumed is to all of kg. So the weight of the child was to all of kg, we have assumed then you will have 1 ml of IM R2 Senate. So this is how you are going to calculate the dose of IM or IV R2 Senate. Please, if you like the video, kindly smash that subscribe button, like and share, and give your comment to this video. That gives me motivation to continue posting important content about medical.